Okay. There's a heaviness that I feel. It's like my heart is sinking to my stomach right now. And goddamn, do I know what that shit feels like. <laughs> Baby, listen. I just want to let you know. You are doing an amazing fucking job. Okay? Like, you are that bitch. Like, I need you to know that. Not second guess it. Not doubt it. Like, I need you to get your ass up every single day. Look at yourself in the mirror and be like, I am a bad bitch. I am a boss bitch. Okay? I am the empress. Okay? I am the queen of pentacles. Okay? I am that bitch. All right? So I need you to do that. Okay? Because what I feel is happening right now we're in the middle of the ego death, okay? If you've had the tower moment, like I said, part of the spiritual journey is not, it's not ascension. And I'm not saying that like everyone's path is different, but for me, it's a lot of unlearning. It's a lot of shedding of the old skin. And guys, I gotta let you know, this shit is ongoing, okay? Like it never stops. The ascension process or the spiritual awakening, the dark nights of the souls, those never really end. Okay, so I just want to let you know that now, which is the other reason why I feel like we're in the middle of this heartbreak. It feels like we've just been abused. It just feels like that we've been mistreated. It just feels like that we have been dishonored. You know, we have been broken and we are broken right now. And I want you to know it's okay. You are safe to do that. You are safe to grieve. You are safe to let that shit go. You are safe to relief, like to release those self-limiting beliefs. You are safe to show your emotions. You are safe to hold space for yourself. You are safe to take care of your motherfucking self. Do you understand me? Like I, I'm just, and quite frankly, this card has shown up as the keep going. Literally, just seriously, keep going. You're doing the work. You are doing fucking amazing, okay? I don't know if you notice or not, but like you are a light worker. You are on the path that is going to set other people f free into their journey, okay? So embrace your voice. This world needs your voice. You understand? Like this is not, have the strength. Do me a favor and find that strength. Find your courage, find your bravery to trust what you cannot see, to trust what is not being revealed to you right now. The point of this is to learn to listen to our inner voice. That part of us that hears the, don't go that way. The part of us that hears, don't go out. The part of us that knows why we don't like somebody. We don't need a reason not to like anybody, by the way, because that spirit telling you that this person is not in alignment with you and it's okay. The biggest part that I can say, like now is the time to ground your energy, okay? Now is the time to be in your feminine energy. Now is the time to manifest. I understand the, pa the patriarchy, society, and all that other shit has suppressed the feminine, has suppressed what is sacred. We have been abused. We have been mistreated. We have allowed ourselves to be broken. And that's not cool no more, baby. But like I said, I'm here to tell you, to let you know you are doing an amazing fucking job. Your glow up is real, okay? Don't let none of these other bitches take you out of you, okay? Don't allow anybody. Don't let a hater take you away from you. Don't let your family members take you away from you. Don't let your peers your friends, your whoever, don't let them take you away from you. Keep doing the work. Keep choosing you. The only person like that can control your life, that creates the outer reality, it comes from here. Because bitch, I need you to know you are the motherfucking empress, okay? 
You are worthy of everything. You are worthy of love. You are worthy of safety. You're worthy of peace. You are worthy of joy. You are worthy of abundance. And yeah, the inner voice that you got, the mission that you was assigned to, is to be feminine. That's it. Just to be feminine. Show the world what that shit is. Ground yourself. Get outside. Take some deep breaths. Choose you. Love you. And okay, to and this is just me kind of going off on a tangent here. I came across a post that was just like, self-love is not just the spa days and whatever the fuck else. Let me, let me explain something to you. You do not go from masculine energy and working 40, like 48 hours, 50 hours, 60 hours, whatever. You don't go from that, from the role of provider in a masculine energy aspect and not start somewhere, okay? I need you to understand, start somewhere. If you are in the beginning of this shit and have no idea how to do none of that, please feel free to ask me, okay? Because this is the work that I love to do. I'm not saying that I have all of the techniques and I have all of the, I don't because I'm just as fucked up and figuring shit out as you are, okay? But I've learned to forgive myself. I've learned to let a lot of that go. I've learned compassion for myself. And yes, I've even learned how to express my boundaries by embodying this voice, okay? What I'm doing with you now is embodying my voice. What I'm doing with you now is embodying what I've been called to do. And it's like in the midst of this confusion and in the midst of this clusterfuck and all of this grieving that we're doing, we are grieving the part of ourselves that was cultivated and created to survive. So don't, don't hold that against yourself. Let that shit go. Baby, you are all of that. Use a whole goddamn meal, the snack, the table. You are all that, okay? Like, is this something I need you to know? The foundation, we are the foundation and nothing on this goddamn earth exists without us, okay? So I need you as someone who loves the fuck out of you, please embody your feminine energy. Learn to rest, learn to manifest. Figure out what that is. Figure out what brings you joy, right? Be a big ass kid again, go celebrate. Go like shake your ass. Do that shit unapologetically. Okay? Don't allow none of these motherfuckers try to tell you who the fuck you think you are. Because you know who you are. You do. You know. We have emotions and intuition for a reason. We come into this world with emotions and intuition for a reason. Okay? That is not something that you should be ashamed of. None of that shit that people have told you is nothing you should be ashamed of. I feel very strongly about it because I feel that wound. Like, I understand as a woman, like, we accept being abused. We accept being assaulted. We accept being under constant pressure and constant danger of our lives every single day just for being a woman. And I get it. And it's real. But baby, I'm here to tell you, this is who you are. You are not anything that the people have ever said to you. You are none of those things because only you can define who you are. And I know this may seem like an obvious message and I know it may seem like a whatever, whatever, but bitch, I need you to understand you are that whatever that encompasses the whole wheel, everything you are worth all of that. So please, 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 sis, goddess, beautiful beautiful fucking goddess in human form please do me a favor like the empress the queen the all of that do me a favor and please love yourself please forgive yourself learn to speak up okay someone needs your voice someone needs the shit that you've gone through someone needs all that okay so rest take a breather if you need it Ask for help, ask for support. And to the strong ones, don't get upset when someone says, oh my God, you're so strong. It used to piss me off, it did. And the reason it did is because I would look at those people and be like, you have no fucking idea what it took for me to get here. I'm not there anymore. So when someone says to you that, they're very, that you are strong, don't take it as an insult. 
it's actually the highest form of flattery. It is, because that means that you've done the work. And well, yeah, okay, we have some things that aren't healthy about us, meaning we don't know how to ask for help. But hey, shout out to my strong women. Do me a favor and ask for help. Do me a favor and open up. Don't deny someone else the opportunity that wants to be there for you because we don't know how to speak. Don't do that. I love you. I love you so fucking much. You have no idea. Like, this is the reason why I'm doing this work to begin with. I am right where I'm supposed to be. And so are you. This is confirmation, the nine of wands, that you are right where you are supposed to be. You are that leader. You are that. You don't have to be in your masculine to lead. You can be in balance. And you can even be in your feminine and lead. Because there's real power in that. That shit is sacred. We don't just give birth. We don't do that. We don't give birth and then just serve. Bitch, we are nirvana. Okay? We are the fountain that is nirvana. That people, that other people spend their lives looking for. We are that. Okay? So start acting like it. Do what you got to do for you. If you need permission, this is your permission. This is your confirmation. Okay? I love you. We can let all that shit go. If you need to cry, cry that fucking shit out. Don't be afraid of your own emotions. They are meant to serve you. It is not meant to keep you trapped. Okay? It's not meant to keep you trapped to a cycle of suffering. It's a fucking gift. You know why? Because my emotions are a gift. And everybody who actually like knows me IRL knows that I'm a big ass crybaby. Do I give a fuck? No. I don't. Because tears are a part of the process. Also, to, to my strong women, don't be ashamed to cry. I know a lot of us have a wound around cry, either crying because we've been shamed, we've been embarrassed for them, we've been humiliated f for having them. And then I know there are some people that are like, oh, I can't cry around other people because it makes them sad. Don't do that. Let that shit go. Because that's you denying the help that you need because of how someone else feels. To my empaths, my HSPs, to my high, to just my sensitive people that can feel all of that inside of themselves, you are a gift. This world needs you, okay? So just ground your energy, do what you got to, sis. I love you. I really do. Trust where you're going, even if you can't see it. Let go of your grief. Allow the ego death to take place. Embody your empress energy and have the strength to trust your intuition. Your intuition will never steer you wrong. In fact, it'll save a lot of fucking lives and it'll save you a hell of a lot less bullshit. I swear to you, it'll save you so much bullshit in the end. And that's just coming from someone who actually had no choice but to follow my intuition when shit got rocky. In my life, I had to trust my intuition when shit got bad, like really dark, okay? And that's not a gift that I'm willing to sacrifice for anybody. You have a gift. Don't keep sacrificing it. Like, enforce your boundaries. If it pisses people off, hey, you know where to put them. Either not in your life or just to give them space. You can also learn to forgive other people while still forgiving yourself. You can still hold space for other people that might not be in alignment with you at this moment in time, and that's okay. You don't always have to cut people off. But remember, holding that compassion, letting go of judgment, and loving yourself makes it easier to give that to other people. Now is the time to pour into your own cup. You cannot be of service to anybody, not your kids, not your job, not your partner. You can't do that shit for nobody until you take care of you because we are the goddamn foundation. Okay? We are the foundation that everything sits on, that everything stands on. We are that pillar. And don't shit work without it. Okay? I think this about concludes my reading. Thank you again for joining me. And... I sincerely hope that this message resonates. And if not, that's also okay. Either which way, I'm just one of many messengers because there are plenty of other messengers 
that is not just me. And it's the other reason I'm telling you to speak because we need your message too. Okay? If you like and want more of this content, make sure you hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, all that other good shit, and I'll catch you fuckers in the next reading. Which, by the way, bitch, you look really fucking good. I don't know if I told you that, but you look 